finally. Ah. We were supposed to go roller skating, but it is rain. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ree and I create conscious lifestyle content. Today's video is gonna be a weekly vlog. This video was filmed like a couple of weeks ago. I have to do a day in the life video to catch you guys up today with what's currently going on. I wanted to get on here to, you know, give a formal introduction, but also to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, which is Aspiration. There's a really good chance that your bank could be using your money to fund fossil fuel projects which destroy the climate. This is possible because your money just doesn't sit in a bank. Banks are allowed to use 100% of their customers' deposits as collateral for investing and lending. And some of the hugest, most popular banks have contributed $3.8 trillion to fossil fuels since the year 2016. Aspiration is a digital banking alternative that wants to change this. They are a B certified corporation that would never ever use your money to invest in fossil fuel projects or other harmful industries. They are fully insured and regulated like a bank, which makes them as safe as any bank to keep your money in. They are a member of the 1% for the planet and Aspiration pledges 10% of their profits to charity. Aspiration has no overdraft, maintenance, or other predatory fees. They also have an opt-in plant your change program, which allows customers to plant a tree on every purchase by rounding their purchase up to the nearest dollar amount. Their Aspiration Plus account offers 10% cash back on socially conscious spending and features carbon offsets for all of your gas purchases. Guys, it's really time to put your money where your values are and join Aspirations today. I'll have a link in the description box below where you get $50 when you sign up to join Aspiration. Thank you Aspiration again for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for being here and supporting my content the way you do so that I'm able to work with brands like Aspiration who values align with mine. Okay, so on my latest video, I had a watermelon and somebody, I put salt on my watermelon and so many of y'all was like, yes, I put salt on my watermelon. And sorry, my voice is still, <coughs> Um, coming back but somebody was like try putting a couple of people said try putting lime on it so wait let me see is this a good watermelon no I don't I don't know it's not it's not really crispy I'm cutting it all ugly it does have seeds in it whoa Oh my god, it's not that red though. Let me see. Whoa. Whoa. Mind is blown. Do you guys eat the seeds? Now, this is a seeded watermelon. Whenever I was little, I did not eat the seeds because I thought. That a watermelon will grow on my stomach. Also, guys, this is not a what I eat in a day. I think it's gonna be a vlog, like a weekly vlog or something. I don't know. This lime wasn't really ready, was it? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the lime. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not the same as salt. This is the salt I use. Anybody's curious? You don't need a lot. Just a little bit. I want some passion fruit. Mm, 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 mm. My goodness. I didn't really like the lime on there. Um, wasn't my thing. I don't even know if I like limes for real. I think that lime wasn't ready, but anyway. Look, another good one. Look, it's seeded too, baby. Really See the happy. black seeds? I'm happy for you. Thank you, baby. I know. 
Yay! So I'm about to get ready and polish my nails. Saw this cute little thing on Pinterest where they had like every nail was a different color, but I wanted to do earth tone colors. Um, we were supposed to go roller skating, but it is raining. I'm supposed to get back to any later, so we still won't go because it's gonna be wet. But polishing my nails. I'm just gonna use the back of this magazine that I bought. That I never even read. Um. Has like 25 plant based recipes in it, which I'm probably gonna look into it after. Polish my nails. So, what color should I do? What colors? I know I'm gonna do them. Damn. I know I'll do these four, but I feel like I'm gonna do. Baby, which one should I do? <coughs> I'm doing these four for sure, but which one of these should I do? Add to it. <coughs> Them four for sure, but which one of these go? This. I feel like the green, this one. I should do this one. My nails got, this is long to me because I never let my nails get this long. Then we'll do. Okay, here's my nails. I didn't like the other two colors on these fingers, so I just did these. Here they go. I like the colors. I know, I love them. At first, I had these colors. Did I just mess it up? <laughs> sort of. Just. Okay. I'll tight. fix it. And tight. I'll fix it really fast. Mm -hmm. Ow, you on my toe with your knee. Oh. Sorry, can my these like a square shape? Cause I like you want yours square? Yeah. I should just left it alone. Yeah, here they go. Oh my gosh, look! So the plant that I propagate, the the plant that I propagated has a new leaf. I need to water the rest of them though, but <laughs> oh my gosh. And I've already added, ooh, that's crooked. I've already added um, milk and dates. Now I'm gonna add, whoops, spinach. Um, hemp seeds. Some ginger. I'm trying it up so I'm y'all can kind of see. There we go. Ginger. Um, I think I'm just adding this whole huge chunk right here. And these have all been like rinsed off. I think. I hope. They were, like. Um, teaspoon of spirulina. Alright, so I usually like to put way more mango in here than this, so we'll see. 
fast move. Frozen pea juice. Frozen pineapple. Ooh, pineapple is like the absolute goat. Ooh, it's all green and pretty. Mm. Okay, I still gotta add my banana. Woo! I'm fine. If anyone's wondering. Y'all about to ask. <laughs> I'm being so dramatic by leaving it away. Okay, today is Thursday. I was on a roll, like getting my videos out. I don't know, I was down a little bit and usually I'm used to being someone who's super motivated, like and inspired all on my own. It wasn't, it hasn't been like that for me. Like it's been so hard for me to get out of bed in the morning and like just do day-to-day -day activities. But yesterday, um, Travis, like I love him so much, oh my God. Um, so like he like just basically motivated me and not that he hasn't ever done that before when it comes to like Cooking and working out because he hadn't he, he never needed to because I You know, I was always motivated to do that but yesterday like he Like cuz I didn't even get up early yesterday, but and I was sad like I cried I was just like I mean mind you I have other things that are going on too, like family um things that are going on not within like in my bigger family like in my family on my side of the family um and like I just woke up I didn't wake up early he told me good morning and I hugged him and he was and I just cried he was like what's wrong I was like I didn't get up early it's just like yesterday I'm a little better today but it's just like any little thing would like um trigger me you know and like make me sad or upset but yesterday I hadn't even planned on working out and like he got up, was working out, was about to get ready to work out. I was like, huh, I'm going to work out too. And like, he like not forced me to cook dinner, but like encouraged me to cook dinner because like I told him, it's ironic and it's crazy because the same things that I don't feel like doing and I don't want to do, they give me joy and when I finally do them. Like, I feel good. Does that make any kind of sense? Um, so, yeah, I just want to give a special shout out to him. Like, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Because, like, that was, like, that was everything for me. For him to, like, encourage me and motivate me like that. Um, so, I want to give a special shout out to him. If he's watching. I know he is. Because he's always watching my videos. So, today I decided to go ahead and, like, get up. It is so cute. I got this shirt on depop it's like a vintage fendi scarf i actually was gonna wear it like y'all it's so dark in here oh my god there we go i actually was gonna wear it like for a head scarf or like when i tie my hair up at night because i just want to i wanted an authentic um and great quality silk scarf for my locks because i don't well i don't cover my hair up at night like i should y'all um, and I want to start doing that, but this looks really cute as well. So, got that on, and then I got on some green um, pants, I guess slacks or dress pants. And I got these from the Goodwill when I, y'all, when I, I bought these like this was months ago when I got these pants. But yeah, and I'm gonna wear. <clears throat> Y'all don't at me because I'm not going to put no so shoes on. I mean, I'm not going to put no socks on my shoes, whatever. I don't sometimes. My feet don't be stinking. I got dry feet. They don't never sweat. I'm going to put on my vegan. Oh, I got to, y'all, I got to, the bruise is actually gone. But, like, I hurt my feet when I was in doing my pole lessons and it hurt so bad. But, 
this is my outfit for today i feel good um i'm not gonna lie at first when i like first got dressed and stuff like i wanted to take everything off and just put on like my house gown and like not wear any makeup and kind of just lounge and do nothing but i've done that for too many days i had to force myself to get out today and do some things because i don't know i feel like it's okay to be sad but i personally try not to sit in my sadness and feel sorry for myself for too long because that can lead me personally into a bad space mentally so yeah i i'm, I'm not 100 percent. like i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that i'm 100 percent because i'm not like but i'm gonna be okay we're gonna be all right and that's why i'm getting out of the house today and doing something my arm is starting to hurt and let's go ahead and go to the skate park Like 